Here at the Hamlin Centre, the research I do is focused on neuroergonomics, and what this means is understanding how the surgeon's brain is functioning whilst they're performing surgeries and using and interacting with their surgical tools. The aim of the research is to understand how well the brain is functioning during the procedure and what the extent of the burden or load on the surgeon's brain is during the procedure and to see whether the new tools that are being developed within the Hamlin Centre can potentially offload some of that burden on the surgeon. This has potentially a number of areas of value for patients and patient safety. We have data that t is informing us about fatigue in surgeons and we know that certain cancer operations can be very long uh, and quite draining on the surgeon, even though perhaps the surgeon wouldn't necessarily know that themselves. And we're able to pick up critical changes in the brain that tell us that the surgeon is fatigued. And so this has tremendous impact for patient safety. It's very much the combination of science, technology and translation. There is no point in doing science and technology if you don't actually translate it to clinical benefit. And that is what our Cancer Research UK Centre does. I sit down when I do robotic surgery rather than standing up, so physically, certainly from my perspective, it's better. Ergonomically, you're much more aligned, so your fatigue is less. But ultimately, whether it's open keyhole or robotic surgery, you, know, you need to have your physical rest because no patient will like you near them if you haven't slept properly. My hope is that one day that we may see surgeons of the future uh, wearing scaled down versions of the type of brain imaging technology that we're researching here that will provide real time feedback to the surgical team and the surgeon about how their brain is behaving during the procedure. So that is our great hope for the future.